All right, I'm going to show you how to map the uh, transport controls on the M-Audio Axiom series of MIDI controllers. Uh, I'm working with a 49, but this will also work with the Axiom 61 and the 25. What you're going to do is take a look in the um, M-Audio Enigma software. This is free software available at mAudio.com uh, for download, and it work it's basically software that helps you um, edit the parameters of your keyboard controller. Okay, um, in your defaults there are a set of 20 presets that are loaded onto these uh, keyboards and the one that we're going to be using in Pro Tools will be preset number 15. Uh, this one is the recommended preset to use when you want to try to uh, get control of the transport controls in Pro Tools. Okay, So make sure you load up preset 15 on the controller. To do that it's very easy. You can e use either the recall button which is over here on the controller and then select 15 or you can use these um, plus and minus cursors on the, the uh, keypad here and call up preset 15. Once that's done you're going to go into Pro Tools, click on Setup and Peripherals. You're going to have a set of three tabs across the top here. You want to click on Machine Control and then make sure that this button right here is enabled. Okay, so it, um, it probably will not be enabled when it first comes up. Uh, just make sure you check it and then you're going to hit OK. And from that point, if you take a look over here, um, when I press play, the transport will start and the song will start in the session. Okay, pressing stop obviously would stop it. Your Q buttons are the same, uh, fast forward and reverse. Uh, record is enabled if you look here. Uh, record up on the um, transport itself becomes armed and uh, the buttons work and that's a good thing. So uh, very easy to do. Preset 15, load it onto your machine and then configure the MIDI uh, peripherals on the setup in Pro Tools.